Well, I, don't, I think if you think back to the kind of the heyday of the 1960s and the Apollo program and all of that excitement, <clears throat> I, I, my, my, my gut instinct on this is that we as a civilization, we as humanity, pulled that moon landing way forward, out of sequence, from where it actually should have been. I'm going to prove Apollo never went to the moon with common sense. This is Michael Collins of Apollo 11, sitting next to Jeff Bezos, the man who invented the rocket that this man would have let Neil Armstrong go down to the moon in. It didn't exist back then, he just invented it in 2015. There's your first bit of common sense. Second bit of common sense, this is him sitting next to him saying what he did was impossible. And now that he's invented it, maybe we can give it a try. That's your second bit of common sense. This is where it gets more fun. The U.S. government, for this one interview, hired him in 2015, before Elon Musk and SpaceX, to be the person to represent NASA in all the flights that you've seen SpaceX do for NASA from then until now. Well, he said this, then they fired him. Common sense should tell you that right there was him not playing ball with NASA's moon landing shit because, well, he's inventing the rockets they would need to do that and they're asking him how to do that and they can't do that. So maybe they didn't do that. And the world's richest man, the world's richest guy that can do that, can't do that. So common sense says they fired him because he's going to run his mouth. Someone in ESA hired him and went, we'll let you do your thing here. Just launch pads, all of your equipment, anything you want to do. Start from here. So now he works for ESA. Cute. Common sense says competitors took him. That's why he's still keeping his mouth shut. The end. Everyone is working together to solve the problem as to why we can't leave low Earth orbit. Common sense. This was him not playing ball. Last little bit of common sense. Every single bit of technology that SpaceX has used for their landing, he did it first. This guy has more money than everyone in the world. Donald Trump doesn't even tax this guy. He's the richest guy in the world. He, unlike Galactic or any of these smaller Boeing or even Lockheed Martin that's government granted or the Sierra Nevada companies that are all private companies as well, none of them can even do a slight bit of what he can do. Not only did he invent it, he has the most means. So, bottom line, this guy right here, he could. He can't. We can't. He didn't. Common sense.